Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. Today we are making a prop for a video. Now if you, if you don't know uh, Luke, the, uh, the videographer behind the camera, uh, he runs Fusion Videos and it's another YouTube channel. He asked me to make a prop for one of his videos and said the world is your oyster, make a prop. And so we made this. This is, well, it's, um, it's, it's this. So today we're going to be looking at how exactly we go about making this. Now I know this is a very different for Wood by Wright or even Wood by Wright 2, but there's a method to my madness. So let's focus on making one of these and um, one of these. For this nonsensical creation, I'm going to play with some epoxies and resins in ways that you don't normally do. In particular, I'm going to be using West System Fast, and I'm going to be mixing up, um, I think it was like four or five pumps of each, and it's a lot more than you should make in any one area. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of pigment just to make it a little sparkly, add some color to it and some swirl, uh, just something to make it so it's not quite clear. And in particular, I like this pigment that I got. It's like this pinkish, goldish, weird mixture. But the nice thing about this is when you make it up too thick, it will overheat. Uh, if you make it up too much, it'll actually burst into flames. You can see how it's bubbling up over uh, pretty quickly, and it just made this almost like sponge-like structure, but it's, it's plastic and hard. Uh, it took a good bit to get the plastic cup off it. I wish I'd done it with, a, uh, with some other cup, but if you do it with a styrofoam or um, a paper cup, the paper might burst into flames, or if it's a styrofoam cup, then it will melt the styrofoam. Um, so we wanted to just make something like that. And this is more like a figurehead to go on top. So that overheating is something you try to avoid. But in this case, I want to do that because I wanted that bubbly um, structure on there. For the main center of it, I'm going to be using Ecosystem, uh, Ecopoxy's uh, liquid plastic. This takes forever to cure. It is a very, very slow cure, but it dries perfectly clear. Uh, really, really nice. So I'm going to uh, uh, hot glue on this uh, tube that will become the form. And the Ecopoxy, I mixed it up with uh, some glitter in there to make it sparkly. So we're going to pour this into the tube, make sure that there's no leaks. And then I want a bulb to be in this so that the whole thing glows. So yeah, you can see how it's kind of sparkling when you come up happiness. So I'm going to tape it down uh, so that the glass is, is submerged but just barely out. I wish I'd gone down a little bit farther with it, but it's, it's good where it's at. Now, while that is sitting off to the side, uh, we are going to start working on the base for this. Um, it's going to take about three days for that Ecopoxy to cure. Now, the base for this, I wanted to do something different, um, and I wanted to kind of tie into the, the, the electric as well as the natural look of it, and I'm just playing with something that I had on the floor. And this piece of worm-eaten, um, I believe it's elm, has been uh, sitting there staring at me for a while. So I figured oh, this would be a good opportunity. So we cut off a block of it, and uh, then that would give us something to play with. So now it's time to open this up. It took a good bit to cut this tube free until I could pry it open and slide off the form, and then we could get a look at what we've got on top. Uh, I had to be very, very careful with this not to damage the bulb because if the damage, if the bulb was damaged, then uh, the whole thing would be damaged. Um, I did end up loosening the, um, the the metal socket at the bottom. I had to uh, glue that on. We'll be talking about that a little later. Uh, surprisingly, the the painter's tape just did not want to come off of this. Um, I've never had that much of a problem before, so I had to spend a while scraping and picking at it. But there is our our thing basically. Now we can go back to uh, shaping this out, drilling a hole all the way through it. Um, because it was at an angle, I had to come in and chisel out the other side, but that really doesn't matter as much because the cord is going to be coming out the other side. And there is our block. Um, I wanted it to sit flat on the bench, so we grab the scrub plane and flatten off a spot. Um, I didn't want the hole to be perfectly vertical. I wanted it to be slightly at a weird angle because this whole thing is kind of weird, so I wanted to have the whole thing weird. <laughs> After scrubbing it flat, uh, then we can bring in a plane and bring it down really nice and flat. You can see how the, the socket I've purchased will fit into that. Now I need a way for the cord to get out of the bottom. So I grabbed a gouge and then gouged out a slot for the, the cord to come out. Um, as this will be in a video, I don't need it to look terribly pretty because that's the back side of the block. I just wanted to shape it so that the cord could come out and uh, not run into anything. You can see how the, the socket will then fit down in there and the cord can get pulled out the bottom. So now we can take it for a little test drive and ooh, 
That's kind of weird. <laughs> this is one of these things that I wasn't quite sure what we were doing. I just wanted something a little bit different. Uh, we decided that we wanted the, the cord to look a little bit like brass. Um, the black on the bottom, we're actually going to be um, painting. Uh, we're we're going to be having a, a black cord coming out of it so that we can make that disappear in the videos. And so it'll look like just a, a glowing item. But uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted the epoxy to sink down in a little bit more. So I had to make the, the hole a little bit larger than the hole we drilled so that the epoxy would slide down into it. And there, just something really different. Um, yeah, this isn't my normal video, but I kind of like it. This is just really, really interesting in all the different colors and shapes and textures and natural and unnatural. Yeah, I kind of like it. So there you have it, we made the prop. Now this is for a video on Fusion Video's channel. Uh, Luke Milkey, who's the videographer on this channel, he does a series where he actually walks through how to make videos and we start with a key idea and then we put in some limitations. And in the course of a month, we go through the whole planning phase, writing the script and everything that's involved with making a fun video. So for this one, he asked me to make a prop and we're actually gonna be making an entire video based around this with this. Uh, what is that going to be? I have no idea. This is going to be kind of fun. So I'm going to be over on his channel for a while and we're actually going to be talking through making a video based on this prop. So if you want to see that, definitely go take a look at his channel. I'll leave a link to it down below. Uh, we're going to be having a good bit of fun. So this is, a, this is very different and uh, very interesting. Uh, something I've been just kind of playing over in my brain. I, I just want to experiment and try some new things. Uh, and so this was what we came up with. So we're going to be having fun with that. I know this has been a little bit different, but bear with me. We're going to be enjoying the process. So if you want to see what this actually goes into there's a link in the description down below and i'm looking forward to seeing you over there on his channel so i think that's about it for today something weird something new we're going to be having fun in the future i hope you like this if you did please hit like comment share subscribe ring the bell and don't forget to cl click the all notifications when you ring the bell so that you can make sure you are one of the first people to get notified when a new video comes out i think that'll do it for now and until next time have a wonderful day. The crystal of Isildur's mantle is now laid upon me, and I will rule the world! Alright there, Chief.